The Richmond Agitation Sedation Scale, commonly known as the RAS Scale. We're gonna be talking about what that is and how you can assess your patient in this video. My name is Tammy Dunnett and this is Nurse Minder. On this channel, we do everything related to nursing from patient care to leadership. So be sure to subscribe and let your friends know about this amazing channel. Now the Richmond Agitation Sedation Score is a medical scale. It's used to assess the level of sedation or agitation in your patient. More commonly used in intubated patients, those on a ventilator in the intensive care unit and emergency rooms. And the RAS scale helps us as nurses and physicians and practitioners, respiratory therapists to assess the level of sedation so we don't over sedate or under sedate our patients. Now the RAS scale is just one of many tools. You might be more familiar with the Ramsey scale or the sedation agitation scale. Whatever your facility uses is important to understand that tool. So in this one, in this video, we're gonna look at the RAS, the Richmond Agitation Sedation Scale. Let's first get an overview of the scale and what the different numbers mean. And then I'm going to do a demonstration. To so I actually keep my RAS scale inside the book cover of my Critical Care Quick Reference Guide, which is a fabulous book if anyone's looking. And you'll see there's a lot of stuff here. Um, but here, let's zone in on the scale itself. All right, so what we can see here is that it ranges from plus four all the way down to minus five. And these are varying levels of sedation. So if you were walking on your patient and they are sitting there, they look at you, they talk with you, they're having normal conversation, that's the alert and calm, that's the zero. That's the ideal state. As we go up the scale, these are increasing levels of agitation. And as we go down the scale, it's increasing levels of sedation. So let's just look upwards first. A plus one is the patient is restless. They're a bit anxious. Their movements might be slight, you know, continuing to put their hand to their face or perhaps they're scratching their leg. They're just not settled. That would be a plus one. The key thing here is that they're not aggressive. A plus two is agitated. They have more frequent non-purposeful -pur movement and they're fighting the ventilator. A plus three is very agitated. This is the patient who's pulling at lines and tubes and catheters, and they are considered aggressive. And a plus four is combative. These are the ones that are in it. These are the ones that are danger to the staff because they are overtly combative and violent. So you can see how we're getting an increasing level of agitation. Now, as we move down the scale from alert and calm to increasing levels of sedation, you'll notice that there's two categories over here. One is verbal stimulation and the other is physical stimulation. So any patient who will respond to your voice when you call their name and ask them to look at you, they will be a minus one to a minus three. It will depend on what's happening with their ability to keep their eyes open and maintain eye contact. So a minus one is they're not fully alert, but when you go in and you ask them to open their eyes and look at you, they can do that. And they can do so for greater than 10 seconds. Minus two is when you go in and ask them to open their eyes, they can briefly open their eyes. They can make eye contact to voice, but it's for less than 10 seconds. Minus three, moderate sedation. They might open their eyes to voice, but they're not looking at you. There's no eye contact with you. And then minus four and minus five is where we get to the physical stimulation. So they're not responding to your voice. And so we need to then attempt to wake them up with touch, meaning we're shaking their shoulders, we're doing a sternal rub. A minus four deep sedation is they don't respond to your voice or request to open their eyes and look at you. But when you shake their shoulders or you do a sternal rub, you might get an eye opening or movement. Minus five is there is zero response. And so I'm gonna show you what those different levels look like from minus one to minus five next. Good morning, Mrs. Smith. Can you open your eyes for me? Yeah, look over here. Ah, uh, good morning. My name is Tammy. Good morning, Mrs. Smith. Yeah, can you open your eyes for me? Mrs. Smith? Good morning. My name's Tammy, I'm your nurse today. Did you sleep okay? Mrs. Smith, it's Tammy, your nurse. I've just come in to check on you. Can you open your eyes for me? I can tell you can hear me, this is great. 
Can you open your eyes for me, Mrs. Smith? So now, obviously I'm not intubated, but if I were intubated and I was my nurse, <laughs> um, your patient's laying here and if you would, you know, tap them on the shoulders, hey, patient, patient, are you okay? No response. Sternal rub. Rolling the shoulders in is a positive response. Shaking the shoulders and then from their shoulder away, positive response. You'll also want to watch for their feet because as you're doing a sternal rub, you may notice that one of their leg moves, right? Or just their foot, which you can't really see, but you notice that there's movement in there, the claw. So you want to check for that. So you're rubbing their shoulder, you're shaking their shoulders, your sternal rubbing, maybe trying to pull away. Okay, any of that's a minus four. You might even get eye opening with the sternal rub. So if you're doing a sternal rub and then they open their eyes, that might be the only movement you get that's still a minus four. Any response to pain makes it a minus four. If the patient is deep, deep sedation, you will get zero response. No movements, no twitches, no eye opening, no um, vocalization even. That'd be just. Now our RAS score will be done every four hours at a minimum. And the information is used to titrate those medications that are being given to your patient to keep them comfortable. With that, you will have a RAS goal, a target number that you want to keep your patient at. So let's say minus two is your targeted RAS goal. And you've assessed your patient, and your patient is a minus three. Well, this is great information because now you can look at your parameters as to what medications you can adjust to bring your patient up to that minus two sedation level. And information is only as good as it is documented and shared. So ensure the healthcare team is aware of these changes in your patient. This is Tammy with Nurse Minder. Be sure to subscribe below, share this video with five of your closest friends who may be working with the RAS scale today. And I'll see you in the next video.